I believe there to be specific aspects in a game that are the reason why an experience we hold in high regard is the way it is. This may sound vague and obvious, but it's these seemingly trivial aspects found in just about every game that make it possible. More specifically, it's how they were executed. In the case of The Last of Us, you may think of the story as being this crux. And while inarguably there will be no Last of Us without a story of its caliber, I believe its true essence to come from its progression. The Last of Us experiences progression on various levels, and this becomes evident through the observation of the seasons. We're introduced to a world of contrast in The Last of Us. Not ones made obvious, but rather ones interwoven to the everyday. This subtle duality becomes the makeup of the world and the foundation for its progression. Contrasts here work as a lens without which we'd be unable to understand this world or its journey. We're shown how a moment becomes something new and unexplained, or how life can be altered into one that no longer represents the original. We see the fickle nature of the world and relate to it. We can understand how calm can become unease, how what we once considered to be good unravels as bad, and how it was once a vessel for life now knows only death. Perhaps the most integral form of progression The Last of Us experiences comes in the manner in which it immerses us. Convincing those on the other side of the screen this new world is a plausible one is no simple task, but one achieved through careful crafting. We see this crafting in the form of downtime, those moments when the world and its characters can interact and unfold, creating a bridge from their world to ours. Moments perfect for creating emotional attachments and investments that make us go beyond being content with just reaching a resolution. We see limitations being used as a strength. This isn't a world that restricts us by any means, but instead one that knows where it wants our attention to be. It understands the effectiveness of an intense focus over a scattered one. It understands when something should begin and end, and it understands not to overstay its welcome. It's a world who through immersion is able to convince us that this journey is one worth going through. Of all the characters and all the games we've been introduced to throughout the years, there's been a shining beacon coming from those that inhabit The Last of Us. There's no lack of depth coming from the personalities scattered throughout, and you'll be hard pressed to find one that didn't leave an impression. Our interactions with these characters aren't limited to a means of access to this world. They are entities with depth and progression who work more as a means for us to experience what they have. These are characters we see face challenges, change, and adapt. Ones who don't shy away from showing how they're changing and who they're becoming. Characters who in all facets are capable of making choices and in turn show us how those choices have made them. Very few are the aspects that don't experience progression in some sort of notable or meaningful way in The Last of Us. Moving through the world is no exception. There's a real sense of advancement as you go through and a real weight to the footprints you leave behind. Locations don't feel so much as a backdrop for the characters to exist in, but as extensions of the characters themselves, in which you always find yourself taking a piece of with you and leaving a piece of yourself in. This feeling of existing in the places you visit aid in traversing through them with a sense of purpose. The Last of Us believes in the mantra, keep moving forward, as once you've left a place, you're not likely to return. This may again feel like a limiting agent, but works to its benefit as the progress you make moving forward is undoubtedly felt and noticed. The Last of Us doesn't reinvent the wheel, but instead makes it its own. It's an experience made up of familiar elements who together are worth more than the sum of its parts. It's original not because it offers what we've never seen before, but because what it offers, be it progression or any other aspect, is exclusively unique. Progression may not be unique to The Last of Us, but The Last of Us is unique to progression.
You don't have a baby girl. Dum dum, little 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 dum dum.